Good morning, folks. No, no. <laughs> Not morning. What time is it, Tom? 6.42. Good 6.42 to you all out there. PM. This is the first time this year that we're using the uh, grill outside here, doing hamburgers and beans. <laughs> hamburgers and beans. We're using the wireless mic. We're using that uh, Kodak ZI8. And um, we figured we'd just do a little video for you. I got this apron from Tommy. He had it in his other job. He, they gave it to him as basically just as a rag and so forth. And that's what we're going to use uh, for an apron today. So what we're going to do is put the burgers on now. Burgers and fries and cherry pies. Life was simple back then. Yeah, market. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, get it, huh? I got it. I want him to cook evenly. I uh, tried all kinds of lighters on this grill. You know, them long things that you flick. I've thrown more away. I bought brand new ones. I threw them both out. Little tiny flame. They won't go up any higher. It's loaded. It has enough fuel in it. So I, I bought a Bic lighter that, you know, you uh, pop, you know, your cigarette smokers out there use. And the little tiny, tiny flame, you can't get it up anymore. And the little tiny breeze we got keeps blowing it out. It took me 10 minutes to light this. And I can smell gas coming up. I'm going to have to use my propane torch to light this thing from now on. So, all right. So now what we've got is... We got the grill preheated. Let's see here. Uh, about halfway, I guess. Yep, I guess really tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, it don't make any difference where I put this barrel. Works. Yeah, I don't notice any difference on it. I've used this grill a few times. It's the first time this year, so. Oh, well, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Don't make a bit of difference. Of course, I got the old regulator from the old grill. The same thing. I could put that on, but I don't want to fight with the uh, lighting this again. <laughs> Well, the dial goes in and out when I turn it, so I don't know. I guess it's working. Anyways, um, we got our knobs all on there, as you saw in the video, and I did some more caulking um, yesterday around the base with the pheno seal and finished out the pheno seal. I uh, got rid of all the rotten wood. I set it on the ground over there, and I got a plastic bucket where all the little stuff is in, all the rotten little tiny pieces and everything. So there's going to be no more on the grill. On, uh, yeah, on the grill. <laughs> there's going to be no more on the um, deck now for a few weeks when I get the uh, redwood watercolor stain, I call it the bear number nine, 
which is now $15 a gallon and no longer $10 a gallon. I'm hoping one gallon will do it. And I, I'm going to have, of course, a lot longer time painting because i got to paint each knob and that's going to be, you know, it's going to take a while. So. What, Tom? I said you're a good punk. No, I'm not. I hate cooking. I don't mind cooking on a grill. I just don't like cooking in any other way. I'm just not a person that likes to cook. I'll make something if I have to, if I like it, and I'll make it, but I don't want to take the time. Uh, I don't, I'd rather just go out and get my eggs and home fries, you know, and just sit down and enjoy it, and, you know, I don't have to go through all the work of making it. It's one of the few pleasures of life, going out and having my breakfast and a few cups of coffee to warm you up on a chilly morning. Tommy and I were going to go to uh, a um, indoor flea market, I think it is, right? Yeah. You may not be able to hear Tommy because I'm using the wireless mic here on the Kodak ZI-8. It's the only camera that has a microphone. Peek on that battery indicator and see what it shows on there. It was a full charge. Good, good. Now, the only thing is, we just have to hope the microphones hold up. And this microphone shows green when it's when it's connected. That shows blue on the receiver at the camera end. You know. Nothing fancy tonight. We're just having a garden. Uh... Tomatoes on the vine from Stop and Shop, Campbell's beans and hamburgers. My wife's not crazy for the Campbell's beans, so Tommy and I are splitting a small can of that, and my wife is having mac and cheese, a little container of mac and cheese to uh, go with her hamburger and tomatoes. So nothing fancy, just. Uh, Turn that down a little bit. Nothing fancy, my folks. Well, sun is going down here. It's all chilly now. I'm not worried about burning them. I'm worried about dropping them on the ground. But that's usually my problem. I slide them on the thing because there's not much of a lip here and it can go right over. And on the ground they go. Or on the dirty workbench here which has, I've swept it all off, but it has a lot of old, old wooden sawdust and rotted wood, and we don't want that in the hamburger. You know, oh. Not a very entertaining video, but I figured I'd just make it for you, give you something different to watch. So you get up at seven tomorrow, Tom. Yep. You gotta get out early. You miss out on a breakfast Saturday mornings because you like to sleep in. We'll get a nice breakfast, a nice hot cup of coffee, a couple of cups. I'm good for three with the refills. Get the the special is uh, that they have. They've been having it for at least six months or more. Um, you either get bacon, link sausage, or ham. I don't like bacon. I can't chew it. It's too salty. 
um, for eight dollars plus tax with the coffee toast. You can't beat that. It'd probably be uh, fifteen dollars if we went to Norms. I'm not going to Norms, even though it's closer to the flea, flea market. If we get out, we eat at the uh, at the restaurant. You get up at seven. We'll get there about seven thirty. By the time we get cleaned up, you get the special as long as you're there before eight a.m. <laughs> Otherwise, you pay a uh, couple dollars more. Oh my goodness. Well, the pancake is not a special, Tom. I don't like pancakes. I never did like them. Oh, your pancakes are good. Oh, Tom, you got to be careful of that. Oh. You have ice cream. Yeah, but I don't eat. Yeah, I know. I've got to have some ice, but I don't eat it every night. Every other night. Never like pancakes, never like waffles or any of that stuff. I'm an egg and potato guy. Got love my home fries. No, I don't like grits. Yuck. When I was down in Virginia many years many years ago, back in the days when I used to travel myself, you know, back in the uh, 70s, <clears throat> I went to Virginia and Tennessee and stuff and they the places I went to, they didn't have home fries. They had grits. I had them one time. Don't like them at all. It's like cornmeal or something. I don't like that. Give me the home fries. Home fries. You go up north. I've been up to Vermont. And, of course, I've been to New Hampshire. You get home fries up there. I don't like grits. Ham and eggs or... Even eggs and home fries is, is what I like. Lots of home fries with onion. Gotta have onion in it. But for some reason, down south, I mean, that, I haven't been only a few times down south. The furthest south I've ever been was Nashville, Tennessee. I've been to Virginia, and they have grits down there. You know, you don't know it. I mean, when I went down, this was in the 70s, they didn't have home fries. They asked for home fries. No, we don't have those. No. Question is, is it ready? That's the question of the day. Turn this I got this all the way down. Works a little better when I go on the side like this. I think we can... I think they're done. What I do is I leave the grill on. The burn off the grease. It's all right. We got it. We got it all the way down. And I usually let it burn off the grease, and if there's a little pink inside, my wife and I don't like it like that. Bring it back out and stick it back on the grill. I don't like it burnt, but I like it medium well. That's the way we like the meat. That's the way we like it. Aha, uh -huh. aha. Uh -huh. That's the way we like it. <laughs> hey, you gotta act, you gotta act like a fool sometime, you know. Some actually, I, no, I can't. I don't need to be told that. All right, Tom.